We just got kicked out of the garden, so we're going to find another place to film. Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here from We Are The Bonsai Supply. <laughs> Jerome and Mari here from The Bonsai, the bonsai Zone. Zone. Oh. Wait, didn't yeah, I get that backwards? Well, it's, it's, too, it's too cold. I'm Nigel Saunders from The Bonsai Zone. And I am Jerome and this is Mari from, from The Bonsai, bonsai Supply. Supply. Today we are in Canada, as you can see, North Florida, and we just met Nigel, which yes. we admire so much from the Bonsai Zone. Pleased to meet you. Today we're going to be chatting with him and learning more about his experience with Bonsai. And asking me tough questions, I hope. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Question for you. Um, one of the questions was why you don't use any wire on your Bonsai trees? I get asked that a lot. I bet. Uh, <laughs> uh, I try and do as much as I can with Clip and Grow, and the reason is when you let the branch grow and then you clip it, the branch changes direction naturally. It doesn't bend in a curve. Mm -hmm. It bends with a at, at an angle. Right. So you don't get soft. You get a more natural look. You get a natural look to the wine. branch. You get a change of direction and taper. Okay. And you also get a scar at the at the right spot on the branch. Structure. I like okay. I like my branch to have a change of direction, a scar, a change of taper and I prefer to try and develop the branch with clip and grow. I do use wire and that's mainly to position the branch a little bit differently or something, but it's not used to develop the structure. So then you pretty much do the same thing as I do, because I use wire at the beginning of the development of a tree, yeah. but then to like uh, really work the tree and make it look really natural and the ramification, I use clip and grow too. Yeah, it is expensive and I just, I'm, trying to be kind to the earth so I don't use a lot of wire. So, so I guess the reason. conclusion is yes he does use wire but at the same Sparingly. time no. but yes exactly. Sparingly. <laughs> All right, so I have another question from a, one of our subscribers for Nigel here and the question is first of all the how many trees do you have okay and what is your favorite species to work with? I know okay. that's a very tough question. It is a very tough question because <laughs> I like all trees. Um, I'll start with the first one. Uh, how many trees That's do I have? That's an easy one to answer, right? <laughs> um, last year I counted and I had 200 potted plants. I, I don't like to call all of them trees because, you know, like my aloe bonsai, I wouldn't call that a tree. But uh, uh, And I think I have more than that now. I, I'm probably closer to 250 now. Oh, wow. it, it's a lot. It, uh, takes a lot of devotion and care to keep them alive. The second part of the question, my favorite tree. My favorite full-size tree is the Kapok tree, which is a rainforest tree. Uh, I just like the shape of it. Uh, it gets the big buttressed ribbon roots and when it's young it gets these big spikes all over the trunk and I know yours is the Brazilian rain tree. One of my favorites. I've been doing yes. my research. <laughs> <laughs> One of your favorites. Uh, yes. I, I would have to put the Schifflera up there. Uh, that is one of my favorites, uh, just because they imitate a giant ficus tree really well, yeah. and they're really easy to care for. Very easy. Easy to get branching, easy to get aerial roots. Um, they so also make great indoor bonsais too. By great the way. indoor bonsai. Yeah. And I think like that banyan style tree with the aerial roots and the big umbrella shaped canopy is probably one of my look. favorite styles. Yeah. It's just exotic and it looks like it's some lost jungle in the Amazon or something. And <laughs> so, and that tree does that style really well and easy. So since you said you have 200 plus trees, so about yeah. 250 trees, and I noticed that you don't have a watering system. No, I So don't. how long does it take you to water your trees? And do you have help? No, I don't have help. <laughs> I do everything myself. I, uh, I have rain barrels that I dunk my watering can in. It's a two liter watering can. You do all of that with watering cans? Yeah. Not by, not with a hose? No, no hose. Wow. It's all rainwater. Okay. And it takes me about an hour to thoroughly do all the trees. That's fast.
So I had a question for you, Nigel, and okay. one of my questions was uh, if you have a favorite style. Favorite style. Um, my favorite style is to style the trees in their natural form. So a spruce tree should look like a spruce tree, a maple tree should look like a maple tree. And so I think each species of a tree has their own natural style, and that's the style I like to see the tree in. So I don't have an overall, I'm not in love with root style or you don't have cascade, a style. but I do like the tree to look like the tree in its natural environment. So Nigel, um, another question is, how did you originally get into bonsai? Well, I originally got into bonsai by accident. I had a potted poinsettia growing at work, and out of the soil sprouted this little plant, and I didn't know what it was. And I thought, well, I'll let it grow and find out what it is. And it grew taller and taller, and then it started getting a woody kind of trunk on it, and I thought, kind of looks like a miniature tree. And it turns out it was a ficus microcarpa, that there was either a small cutting or a seed in the soil. And it, I let it grow taller and taller, and then it got to the point where I couldn't really fit it on my windowsill at work. And I thought, well, I'd better prune it. So I thought, well, I don't know anything about pruning. So I started looking in the library, and I found a book on bonsai, and I thought, wow. It just opened the new world to me, and I thought, wow, there's other people in the world that actually like trees. <laughs> and uh, so I... I pruned it up and uh, that was my very first tree and I still have it today. Is that the one you did a video on like three videos ago? Yes. Where you recorrected the roots? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh that's a very nice tree. That, that's my very first tree. Oh wow. So it's 26 years old now. Very cool. <laughs>